Hello, wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy New Day, happy Thursday, happy 15th day in the month of August in the year of 2024. It shall be well with all of us. In case you missed uh, this uh, message, this message title is the video of the day. It is being loved worldwide. This message is being played at every radio station as long as the international community is concerned. But the zoo never play it because they know the implications of playing it. Well, anyway, in case you missed the video, I would like you to listen to this very important video at this point in time. Listen to it, digest it, and let me know what you think at the comment section. Because some people might not know how this struggle started. But people might not know how far Martin Lam Decano have gone with this struggle. But I want you to know that even the international community is aware of the ordeal and the plight of Martin Lam Decano. So I want you to listen to the King Maker. And also you can call him the Red Maker, the Lion himself, the Hamadika one of Igbo land. And I will urge you to like, share, comment too, and make sure you keep subscribing to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. My name is Siri Man. I'm on the Anal Is reporting from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. It shall be well with all of us. So please listen to this message where they're very, very important. Why are you still fighting the struggle to have independence for Biafra? We are fighting for independence, not fighting physically with guns and, and bullets. We are fighting in terms of our agitation. We are fighting in terms of our belief. We are fighting in terms of our consistency to ensure that we are free. Because we are not free. As a free people, we can afford to make life better for our people. Right now, we can't do that because of how Nigeria is structured and because of the very flawed foundations upon which Nigeria rests. You called for a referendum latest this year, uh, November, you said, I think. Yeah. Uh, if that doesn't happen, what's the way forward? Because the way it looks like, the government will definitely uh, not agree to that. Then there will be no elections in Biafaland. No more elections here. They can put whoever they like in office. They can do whatever they like with their political positions. We will not engage in any political process. You said it's a peaceful struggle, but yes. uh, there are some videos of you appearing in the past, especially abroad, in particular in one conference in, in the U.S., where you said you need weapons to defend yourself, you need guns and ammunition. How can we understand that in the context that you're saying it's a peaceful struggle? I'm sure you've heard about the Fulani headsmen killing people all over the place. Have you heard about it? Of course. Exactly. So how do you intend to defend yourself against Fulani headsmen without guns and bullets? They've been killing our people, raping our women, destroying crops and the farms, and no one does anything about it. Is that how human beings are supposed to live? So, and you have the right to arm yourself and defend yourself with arms in that context? Self-defense is recognized even by all the known laws of the UN. Is that not correct? We have the right. If somebody were to back into this very interview and are wielding a machete or an AK-47, are you suggesting we should let them get away with it? You were detained for almost two years uh, from, from 2015 on, uh, and actually there was no trial. No trial ever happened, uh, and despite several court rulings that said you were supposed to be released, you were not released. Yes. Do you think you were treated in a fair way by the government, or rather also by the justice system? No, not fairly, because Nigeria is not a civilized country. People will behave like animals. They are not reasonable enough. They are not disciplined enough. They are not mentally developed enough to run a transparent civil society. For them, they have a feudal mindset where you have the ruling class and you know a multitude of poverty-stricken people who never utters any word in rebellion or to even ask questions about their plight. That is one thing we are determined to challenge. Don't you think you insult a lot of Nigerians with that? I'm being very kind, to be honest. I could have used far more harsher words to describe them. I'm being very kind. So generally, you don't think very positive of your countrymen, then, obviously? They are not... When you say positive, not as individuals, perhaps there are a few good people amongst them. But as a collective, this is an absolute mess. And you can see for yourself. You look through the roads and see how horrible they are. Didn't you see how unkept everywhere is? How filthy and dirty everywhere is? 
that is the product of a Nigerian system that is uniquely backwards, even by the very third world standards of black Africa. That's the fact, and people must face up to it. Well, I traveled in the north quite extensively, and I went to very remote areas sometimes uh, where you would still find evil people living there, peaceful together with communities in the north. Don't you sometimes think that you might endanger their peaceful coexistence with the communities there, that they might get into trouble with that? So if they're living so peacefully together, or cohabiting so peacefully as you put it, how come you hear about all those uprisings in the north where southern Christians are being slaughtered and nothing gets done about it? Are you telling me that that is normal? People are in the north out of a dare need, necessity more or less, to try and survive because here the entire production process has been emasculated by people and policies that are geared towards ensuring that our people exist in perpetual state of poverty and that is unacceptable to us. What we're asking the world to recognize is that we want to live in peace, not in pieces. We want to live in peace just to allow us to be, allow Biafra to exist. We were existing before the British came. Just allow us to go back to you know, what we were before. No African came to Europe to create countries. So for somebody to just come in here and say, you, 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 from today, your name is Nigeria, is simply laughable. So I don't hear everything the way it is. So this is a message that even to tomorrow, the world are why here to answer to the difference. What exactly and why the union are being forced. Anyway, let us just take a few reactions because this is just a short message and I just want to, want to bring it to the doorstep of each and every one of us so that uh, on a go know where we start and where we are heading to because when I'm a baby, 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 i Chidera and Agoro said they sometimes wonder how a reasonable human will speak evil against Mazen Namdekano. Now, so it be, my brother, they are all being hired in from many uh, works of life. The only thing their duty is just to make sure to they bring you down before any other person. Ophia David Emeka said, no man reason like he does his actual God send to Africa as a whole. Eze Humble said, I will die for this man anytime, any day. Santos man said, but this man mean good for us, of course. But some people don't know. They keep on criticizing him, many calling him hungry man or whatever, whatever. And uh, Kerry and Chibuike said, our able leader, Mazinam the Kano, Biafra, or we all perish. We must fight to finish. That is in our DNA. Obin no Koye said, he remains my leader. He is the only leader that I have nailed down to pray for according to the Christian doctrine. Pray for your leaders. And so this is our brother, uh, Toko. Is okay, okay, Ernest the Mecca, he don't come with own. He said this, this is a man of an uh, indefatigable and incomparable human being whose methods are infallible and his findings are incontestable. Nobody can contest his... Uh, um, uh, his methods or values. Michael Liberty is a well disciplined and educated man. May you live long, my able leader, Mazi Nande Kano. Peter Patrick Idechuksu, holy who Moli Namde Kano is another savior. God will bless you and protect you. Nothing will happen to you. You will live to see Biafra come. So, our Patrick Chuks Ene, I went up. Lovete Okechuku, God will protect you and you will bring Biafra mandate home in Jesus' mighty name. Amen to that your prayer. Obo Oboji Friday say, what do you describe? What do you describe? Demand people, demand family. Hey, Chineke, Ndemar, no Ibo. People and English, you come on a consultative uh, comment somebody cannot make. Ifani Oka Abu Hulala said, We love you, our hero. All must help Biafra. Everybody keep on saying this word. 
and they keep on manifesting. Morgan G. Buike said that this wisest man in the world, nothing do you, nothing do you, Mazen Namdekano, on the on the side of the iPhone jazz, you can never see them comment on any of the, anything like this. But when their friends just took whatever it is called uh, for their protection, then that is when the whole world will be tear apart. Mercy Angel said, very perfect response from Mazi Namdekano. Victor Chidi, Okwara, I love you, brother. GCAK, God will see you through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. That's all this our brother talk. Oboji Friday again say, in the not man have a family and his mother and his father free diamond. <laughs> Stephen Onukwe Onukwe, Biafra is our heaven, everlasting life. ESN, there's no heaven without identity. I am a Biafra, and Biafra is our country. Now, so this is our Stephen Onukwe Onukwe Toko. Moving forward, do Dorati Shaahu said, "I am proud of you, Namde Kano. Remain protected by God who created you." Tesla, oh sorry, sorry, Tesla TV, True Freedom Fighter. Make on a hear more. You don't know where you started. You can never know where you end. Oluwa, Oluwa Baba said, when a leader is talking, even the air listens. Ezekiel one call a man with lots of wisdom. Freedom is ours. I swear to God, this man have every, everything that a, a leader can possess. Unlike some leaders who don't have anything upstairs, who can't even who can't even stand to make a constructive uh, uh, statement on a national TV. If you want to say that you are my father, our father forever and ever, he say, and you must conquer. Fast, bro, a true leader and fierce freedom fighter. Now, waiting is our brother Toko. Our time done now. Quarapu, quarapu, we'll be here. We'll take back break. When I go hear our voice, when we come back again, please like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to this channel for more interesting videos. My name is Siri Man. I'm on the I'll be right back. Bye for now. Kemesiano.